Hello, uh, I'm going to show you how to make a comic strip pop out uh, effect if you want in Sony Vegas, which looks. Oh, where is it? Hold on a minute. Which looks like this. Looks a bit like that. Um, so yeah, the key thing is to, is to get an image and you know manipulate it to make it like a comic strip so so the first thing you want to do is import a clip of any any kind i've just got a call of duty clip um so you import it with this button here import media and it will put it in this little I'll put it in this like window here and then you can take it drag it and drop it into your timeline down here like this uh, we'll put it there and the next thing you want to do is to scrub across it and f um, find the place where you you want to stop the clip and um, make your comic strip pop out effect work so I'm going to do it right the frame just before he shoots so you can use your arrow keys to go through frame by frame and I'm going to use this frame as the comic strip kind of as the picture for the comic strip so when you found that you want to go up and press the save snapshot file button up here and you can save it anyway on desktop desktop's usually a good option so just save that and then you can um, you know, put it in Photoshop on, I, I use Photoshop but you can I suppose you can put it in any other photo editing software that you want to to edit the photos but here I have this one which is just the gun now I'm not going to show you how to do this in detail this time I can always make another video if you want but you you want to cut out the different parts of the picture so here I have the gun here I have the, the target the enemy and I have a normal picture which is slightly color corrected they're, they're all slightly color corrected and manipulated um, in different ways but this bit will form the middle bit of the picture this bit is the top bit and this bit is the bottom bit now you want to export all of those as um, PDF files so this bit up here stays transparent and it doesn't go white so you want to save as and make sure it's in a PSD format and you save that way you want and the good thing about Sony Vegas is it, w it will like use PSD files so then you want to import all of these and you, you can see it's it's transparent in the background. You want to import those using this uh, import media button again. And you want to drag and drop all those into your timeline where where the the exact place where you want your your frames to happen. So So split your clip here. So you want to split it using the S key on your keyboard. So then you can leave space and carry on the rest of your video after the effect's finished. So then you want to um, move the rest of your clips down, down to size. You only want it to be brief. That's kind of the... It's like a li that's the key thing to make it brief and then kind of connect these up here. So once you've got all of these, it should the video should go along. Pause at the exact frame and then all of your comic strip frames um comic strip images should um pop up there. So what you want to do now is kind of move them, make them um, a bit more interesting um, and so with the gun we're going to use event, event pan and crop over here to get this window and you're going to use here the keyframe timeline down here so at the start you want it to be normal size 
but as as it progresses you want to, to um, get slightly bigger so you use this box around here and move it in slightly and then that way as you've animated your video to zoom in slightly as it goes as you can see it's moving um, you might want your target to zoom in as well so starting at the start normal go to the end of the clip and make it zoom in slightly as well but the thing with this is is it's not exactly in the middle so you want to um, actually change it so it's in line with the gun so as you can see it changes it on here so you can just move it so it's in line with the gun there and that's changed this keyframe so as you move it across again they both get bigger it's quite subtle but it's, it's there and then if you want you can um, move the the top and the bottom picture as well you can either make it I might make it um, smaller so start off zoomed in a bit and then move across and if you want exactly full picture you can click default and it will go like that so now there's bits that are moving I'm going to move the bottom one as well so start off a little bit zoomed in and go back to default so that's that and then the last thing you want to do is actually use transitions so it doesn't just jump straight from your video to your comic strip so you go to transitions and then you're going to use um, the push animation so the top one I'm going to push um, from right to left I think so we'll go where is it here top one and then you click and drag and put it at the start of this video drag it there we're not going to do anything in oops we're not going to do anything in this window so you just close it but what you do want to do is this this um, little animation bit here you want to go to the end of it and drag it so it's very quick it's a very quick transition so it kind of zooms in straight away it's a bit laggy and then you're going to use the from left to right to do the bottom one drag and drop it to the start of your clip don't need that and then again drag it down to the start and then for the gun I'm going to do um, push up like that and make it smaller again and then that should make it nicely have a transition like that pops up to make your effect so that's about it um, I mean you can use other iris ones for your enemy and you can manipulate it maybe move it a bit more to make it your own and then you can also um, get some music which I've done here Um, which can add kind of a bit more to it if I turn it down a bit. Um, so yeah, just adds a little bit more. So that's about it. Um, if you want some tutorials on how to get the images in Photoshop, let me know and I can make those as well. But um, that's about it. Uh, and thanks for watching. Bye.